So the fans were on the side, and uh, and they were holding up a poster of. They had a picture of LeBron, and he was crying, right? And they were making fun of him. I guess they were holding it up, and they had this picture where they had tears coming down LeBron's face. Basically, they were making fun of him for being a crybaby. And what a great opportunity for someone as popular as LeBron to take that, grab it, hold it up, show the stadium, introduce the people, and like, and, and and basically, he has all the power. Right. He's the biggest name in the sport. Like, yeah. like, like, and I know it's easy for me to say just from my fucking piece of shit podcast that I fucking can't even get going right here at the fucking lobby of the Hilton to talk shit about him. But, um, man, uh, the people in power really need to make the first step to like close the gap, but just make incremental steps to close the gap. Like, incre- like, that. I get it. I get it. You really, really, really want to oppress the black man. You really want to keep spreading that victim mindset. You keep, yeah, I get it. But just in that moment, you can, you can embrace your haters and show the whole world that you're bigger than that. And the reason why it's important to do is because that's who you really are. That's who we all really are. None of us are truly haters. When we're hating, yep. we're faking. When we're hating, we're faking. Everyone who's hating is faking. You got you to get worried about people like, like some, some, of, some of the heroes out there who are doing the fighting, like the Tucker Carlson's or, 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 or the woke motherfuckers like Joe, Joy Reid. At some point, they got to come back and they got to go to the love. They got to get back to the love. So, so basically, I just imagine LeBron taking that picture, embracing those people. Instead, what he did, he called the referee over and tattled on them and got them kicked out. And all that does is make people who hate LeBron hate him even more. And so what you're doing is you're propagating hate, you're propagating negativity. And I just think if you can, um, if just one person today flips you off or yells at you or this week, if you can close the gap and just say sorry and be more humble than the next guy, trust me, you'll always feel better when you do that. You'll always feel better when you take the high road. There's never a time you won't feel better when you take the yeah. high road. He's got the wrong people around him too. He's got a bunch of yes, yes men around him. You know, nobody's going to, he's got nobody who has integrity there that says, Hey, LeBron, why don't you go this direction for once? You know what I mean? Why don't you, why don't you, but stem the olive branch, meet the people in the center, talk about synergy, talk about love and peace, rather than just spreading all the polarizing hate all the time when you have such a huge influence over the way people would behave, such a huge influence over that culture. Pathetic role model, pathetic. Yeah, so look at look at Craig Wright. He writes, LeBron's a bitch. I totally agree, LeBron's a bitch. But if I'm in the front row and I'm going, LeBron, you're a bitch, and he comes over and puts his arm around me, he goes, come on, buddy, I love you, kisses me on the head. He melts me like butter. Dude, he of fucking a life. melts me like butter, and I put my tail between my legs, and I'm like, oh, my God, LeBron. And you're a fan so, for life. So, and you're a fan yes. for life. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. And, and, that, and that's what I'm talking about. Can you talk more about yeah. why you don't like catching? Another perfect – is this is the uh, same guy who wants to know about uh, Greg and uh, – No, 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 um, different. Different. Wow, you guys yeah. really want to get the hate rolling this morning. It's not that I, I don't – it's it. not that I don't like catching. It's just that she's a woke fool. It, 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 that has nothing to do. I, I, I actually, um, I actually think she's quite amazing. I think she's uh, beautiful. I think she's a fantastic athlete. I find her um, charming and present beyond belief. Um, I think she is charismatic, um, but uh, she just woke as fuck. And and I have no tolerance for that. By woke, I mean she she spreads the hate. She lies. What she says that. She, she says things that come out of her, just like LeBron. Basically, woke means that like you say things like anti-racism or anti-vax. There's no such thing. There's, there's, there's no such thing. Th- that, that's just word, word fuckery. There's people who are pro-vaccine. The rest, it's just, it's just, it's just word fuckery. It, it's, um, it's these people who claim that they're, for, they're not against, or these people that claim that they don't like racism, and yet they keep it alive. Imagine if you spent your whole life standing on a rock screaming, there's no such thing as Bigfoot. All you're doing is keeping Bigfoot alive. And that's what these people are doing. And they don't realize that. They're, they, they, and, and I know that they don't realize it either. They've been tricked. They deceive themselves. And Catherine's one of those people. And basically how she did it to me, how it affected me was, is there was an article in the New York Times, and there was a paragraph in there that depicted me com- with just complete fucking... Um, uh, lies and uh, deceit and mis- misconception misrepresented me 
and uh, and she reposted it on Instagram. And you know what? She probably doesn't even remember. Who the fuck am I? But she did that. And so I told the story, and I told the story of the New York Times uh, author, Kathleen Rossman, who wrote it. And I spent about two weeks just beating it down. But don't, but, but don't talk shit about me about not being at like, uh, I spent 15 years um, believing that women, uh, push, pushing women in the sport. And not because they were women, just because that's what I did. And then now you want to say I'm a misogynist or I don't like women or that when I talk about their menses that I'm a fucking creep. How about fuck you? You're the one what? who hates women. You're the one who finds women's menses disgusting. You're the one who finds women's bodies disgusting. Meanwhile, Katrin's over there posing naked for fucking ESPN, but I'm talking to Stacey Tovar about her fucking menses, but then I'm the fucking bad guy. Eat a dick. How's that casual? But don't say I don't like her. That's you reading into it. I love her to pieces. She's an amazing human being. What she year put her arm the- around me and, 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 and my, she put her arm around me. I'd not like butter. Go ahead. Sorry, Matt. What, what year was the first year that you did uh, the behind the scenes? 2013? Uh, no, I, I, 2009. I mean, really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Really? So, 2009? I mean, I bit 2009, it was a it was a 13-hour blend. I basically, uh, I wanted to make a DVD box set that was similar to the Tour de France, where it was a behind, blend of the behind the scenes and the actual events. And that's in the CrossFit Journal. I know most mm-hmm. of you guys haven't heard of it. When, um, so... You have to be offended by shit to be woke. You couldn't do what I do. You can't have fucking... Um, you can't have fucking Kate Gordon, super hot, super buff chick, telling you that she doesn't date fucking short guys, that she thinks Josh Bridges is too short. And woke motherfuckers get hurt by that. I don't get hurt by that. What the fuck do I care? And let me tell you, a lot of bitches think that shit. Every dude walks in the room thinks he can beat my ass, and every chick's like, hey, where's your taller, bigger, more handsome brother? And it doesn't bug me in the slightest. Now, it does when you're 16. When you're 16, it hurts like a motherfucker. But now, not at all. It's who I am. Since 2009, um, your body of work speaks for itself. If they want to try to paint you as some sort of uh, you know, sexist or misogynist towards women, all they have to do is look no further than behind the scenes when they see that the camera time was equal amongst men and women in a sport that would predominantly say that would have been focused around men at the time because it was a racing, you know, fitness for exercise or uh, exercise for time. And um, you created that platform that gave men and women an equal opportunity in the same exact light for them to build their brands, for them to have equal pay and all that stuff way before that was cool. So, And I've talked openly about how intimidated I was by the female athletes openly every year i've talked about it and 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 how hard it was for me to interview them openly i think they're fucking amazing but and 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 you would be intimidated too fucking oh yeah sarah sigmund's daughter fucking all sweaty and glistening fucking (laughs) muscles popping out into everywhere fucking angels like flying around her eyeballs and shit everyone's staring at her and you're going to go over there and ask her what she had for dinner this morning you tried (laughs) or what she had for dinner last night scary as shit meanwhile and, and the men are a little different meanwhile rich froney you walk by him he puts his arm around you tells me i might he could see my lats through my shirt gives me a little chub 